Assalamu alaikum, my dear viewers. I stand here in Karbala. I stand in the land of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wa salam. And today, we're going to take a journey. A journey to visit one of the maqams of our holy Imam's sons, Ali al-Akbar alayhi salatu wa salam. Peace be upon him. Here we stand in Karbala, in the land of the lovers, in the land of Hussein salamullahi alayhi. As you can see, I'm standing in Shara, Shara al Sidra. This street is called the Street of Sidra. Because the door that is in front of us right now is the door of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, uh, Bab al Sidra. And behind me here, we have the maqam of Imam Sahib al Asr wa Zaman. We stand around 200 to 300 meters away from the holy ha'ar of Abi Abdullah al Hussein salam alayhi alayhi. Now come with me, inshallah. We will take this journey to visit the maqam of Ali al Akbar salam alayhi alayhi. As you can see, we just passed down the alleyway from Shara al Sidra. And here we are going now to the maqam of Ali al Akbar. Alayhi As you can see, there's a lot of shops here, a lot of people living around this area. This place has a lot of history. It is narrated in the books of history that uh, this place used to be but ruins. This land used to be just ruins and not that much buildings. Of course, the enemies of Ahlul Bayt, they always destroy these kind of areas because they have, they have a problem with the Ahlul Bayt You can see around me, it's all your old structures. It is narrated that a uh, granddaughter of one of the people who used to live here, that there is about 800 meters squared of area in this area. And a man by the name of Abu Hajj Qadim al Asdi bought this land here, this land which is about 800 meters squared. And from this land, he gave about 20 meters squared for the Maqam Ali Akbar salam. And he was the first person, the first person in this Maqam to build it and put a Shabak on it for the shrine, for the Zawar to come inside and visit. Peace be upon you, O Ali Al Akbar. Peace be upon your father, Al Hussein ibn Ali. Peace be upon your grandfather, Ali ibn Abi Talib. And may the peace and blessings be upon your mother, Fatima al Zahra, alayhi salatu wa salam. Assalamu ala al Hussein, wa ala Ali ibn al Hussein, wa ala ashab al Hussein. Wa ladin badal muajitum dun al Hussein, alayhi salatu wa salam. This maqam contains history. The history in this maqam is that this is the place where Ali al-Akbar, peace be upon him, was assassinated. In this location here, Al-Murra ibn Munqid alayhi al-La'na assassinated Ali al-Akbar. Now my viewers, I want you to pay attention now and pretend that there is no buildings here. Pretend this is an entire barren wasteland, a desert. We, I told you that the Maqam of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam is down there and the Mukhayyam is da down there. Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam, when all of the companions of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam were martyred and killed and assassinated, al-Hussein alayhi salam said, Ala min nasrun yansurna? Al-Hussein alayhi salam came and told, is there anybody here to come and aid us? Is there anybody here to come and protect the haram? The woman of Rasulullah, the Fatimiyat, Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam came. Ali al-Akbar, 18 years old, or 20 years old, according to the hadith of Ali Bayt Ali Muslim. Sheikh Al Mufid says 20, and the lo lowest number, 18 years old. Ali Akbar came to his father. He said, Ya Abata, O oh father, your companions are dead. The Haram here, my mother, Sayyidah Zainab, they're in tears. They want somebody to aid him, to aid Abi Abdullah Al Hussein. Can I be the one to go into battle? Can I be the one to go and fight for you? I want to see my grandfather Rasulullah. I want to see my father Ali ibn Abi Talib. I want to see my mother Sayyidah Fatima. Salamullah alayha. Father, give me permission. Give me permission to go and fight all these enemies here. 
rewind history, rewind. Pretend right now we are going 1400 years back to the year 60 AH. On the day of Ashura, 10th of Muharram. Can you hear the clashing of the swords? Can you hear the enemies? Can you hear Al Hussein alayhi salam saying, Ala min nasur yansurna? With me, with me. Pretend, close your eyes and see, and see the battle going on. Can you hear Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam crying? This is when Ali Akbar came into battle. Ali Akbar, in the prime of his youth, came into battle. Abi Abdullah al Hussein salam alayhi alayhi said, when I yearn to see my grandfather Rasulullah, I look at Ali al-Akbar. Ali al-Akbar in terms of his maqam, its character, his speech, his looks, resembled Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in every manner. Ali al-Akbar came into battle. Here, this area right here, this holy ground right here, Ali al-Akbar sallallahu alayhi fought with his horse. He killed many, hundreds, two hundreds, took them to hell until this La'een, Al-Murra ibn Munqid, he came and he stabbed Ali al-Akbar from the back with his spear. Then he came and with his head, he struck Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam. Ali al-Akbar salam allahi alayhi fell on the grounds. He fell on the grounds and he said, Ya abata alayka minni salam, ya Hussein. Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam came running towards his son Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam. He held Ali al-Akbar he held Ali al-Akbar and he put his cheek on Ali al-Akbar's cheek. al Hussein told him, Ya Abata, Ya Ibn Yabni, ya, ya Ali al-Akbar, why are you holding me with only one arm? Because Ali al-Akbar, the hadith say that Ali al-Akbar was on the ground and he had his left arm around his father and his right arm on his chest where his heart was. He told him, move your hand, move your hand. Ali al-Akbar wouldn't move his hand. Al Hussein alayhi salam forcefully removed his hand from Ali al Akbar alayhi salatu salam. He removed his hand and he saw that the spear, the head of the spear, the iron was still in his chest. Al Hussein alayhi salam pulled and his heart came out too. And that is when you hear the haram, Sayyidah Zainab standing at the Tell Zainabiyah where you see right now, and Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam in her eyes, the entire image of Ashura is in her eyes and she can see what's going on. They carried Ali al-Akbar back to the Mukhayyam, which is right down there, and they just, just count how many steps it takes. Imam al Hussein had to walk from the Mukhayyam to here and hold his severed son's body and walk all the way down to the Mukhayyam and then say, Ya Layla, here's your son Ali al-Akbar. Here's your son Ali al-Akbar. And that's when the Haram came out, Sayyidah Zainab came out, the children came out, and Layla came out, and they all began to weep and cry. My brothers and sisters, my viewers, this is where I am standing right now, right here, in this location right here. In this location right here is where Ali al-Akbar's blood was shed. In this location right here, Abi Abdullah al-Hussein stood in this location right here. This ground is holy. And I can testify right now that the people living in this area have seen many miracles from this ground. This is just a small percentage of Ashura. Here in Karbala, you have the Maqam of Ali al-Akbar, you have the Maqam of Ali al-Azghar, you have the Tal Zainibi, you have Al-Mukhayyam. Every Maqam narrates to you a story. Put them all together and you get Karbala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.